curls and welcome to the rice effect where we focus on the things that affect you now my name is stephanie rice if you're new or you just haven't subscribed yet make sure you press that red subscribe button and while you're at it press that notification bell and choose all so that you don't miss not another video of mine now today, we're going to be making this amazing deep conditioner made of nothing but fruit and other plant life. This mask is very moisturizing, but also during this video, I'm going to give you another recipe that's built on strengthening, okay? Now these are the masks that we alternate between each week while participating in the Trifala Hair Growth and Body Detox Challenge. Let me brief you a little bit about the challenge real quick. <laughs> now, as you may know, we're in the midst of the Trifala Hair Growth and Body Detox Challenge. Trifala is a combination of three super fruits that are great for the proper functioning of the entire body as well as the hair and skin. Throughout this video, the links to our previous videos going in depth about Trifala's benefits, the challenge, and recipes will appear at the top of the screen as well as the end screen. To learn more about how to join us in the challenge, be sure to take a look in the description box. So alright, <laughs> let's get to it. So before we begin, let me introduce you to the ingredients that we'll be using today. The first is aloe powder extract. Aloe is a most amazing plant. It's an antioxidant, antibacterial, and antimicrobial that gives us a power punch in cleansing, soothing, and healing the scalp. Then Trifala. Trifala contains an abundant amount of vitamin C and boasts antioxidants, antibacterial, microbial, and anti-carcinogenic properties. It conquers skin and scalp issues and encourages healthy hair growth from the inside and out. The use of Trifala has been an Indian tradition for hundreds of years. Please refer to our video about the slew of benefits that Trifala possesses. You should be able to see the link now at the top of the screen. If not, it's also in the description box as well as in the end screen. Extra virgin olive oil, bottled after the first press. It's always good to buy olive oil in a dark glass bottle because unbeknownst to many, olive oil is actually an essential oil. It's packed with antioxidants and it being high in oleic acid also reduces the production of DHT. Raw honey. Raw honey is not only an antioxidant, antimicrobial, and antibacterial, but it's also a humectant that brings much needed moisture to the hair. With its amazing properties, raw honey is a welcome addition to the health of the hair and scalp. Coconut oil. In addition to soothing the scalp and getting rid of dandruff, coconut oil actually penetrates the hair shaft. It helps to soften the hair and skin, it treats split ends, and helps quite a bit with moisture loss. Avocado. Avocado's abundance in omega fatty acids brings so much moisture and softening benefits to the hair and skin and helps to repair damage. Avocado is rich in vitamin E and in biotin, which is revered to be the B vitamin for healthy hair, skin, and nails. Avocado also makes a delicious meal. Just one splash of liquid aminos and off to glowing skin you go. And last but not least, banana. And a mighty ripe one at that. <laughs> but truth be told, banana is very moisturizing to the hair and the riper the fruit, the more moisture you get when using it on your hair. It's rich in potassium and promotes hair elasticity, shine, less frizz, protects against split ends, and keeps dandruff at bay. And here we go. Starting with a pre-washed avocado, I cut it right down the middle with a steak knife, using the nut core as my guide. Then I scooped out the core. 
Now to avoid any accidents, I like to use the butter knife. It's much safer and it easily slices both sides into chunks. Then I scoop it all out with a spoon. Be sure to scrape very close to the skin because like most fruits, that's where the nutrients are so much more potent. <laughs> and there goes that funky looking banana. But look at this. There's nothing wrong with that banana. It's extremely ripe and sweet, which is the best thing to bring moisture to your hair and for a smoother consistency. Come on, let's chop it up. And now for the powder prep, where we combine the aloe and trefilla powders. Now, at this point, it's very important that you stir the powders in well. This way, you have a nice smooth mix without any clump showing up later. So now we're going to pour the avocado, banana, and two and a half ounces of warm water into the blender. Blend for one minute. And look at that, beautiful. Let's keep going. Add the powder mix and blend for 30 seconds to one minute. Then add the olive oil, the coconut oil, and the raw honey. And what? <laughs> That's right, blend for one more minute. And voila, I mean, look at this thing of beauty and look how much we got. Now I took the liberty of weighing it and it actually comes out to be 13.39 ounces. That's two or four sessions, depending on the length and the girth of your hair. But look at that. Oh my goodness, it's so fluffy and such a beautiful mixture. I'm so happy with it. No clumps or anything. It's just smooth, creamy, like a pillow that glides over your strands with moisture and nourishment. <laughs> I can't wait until you try it. If you happen to try this recipe, make sure you leave your comment in the comment section. Let me know how you like it. So now we're going to let it sit for four to eight hours. I like to let it steep overnight and then strain in the morning. Now you can cover it or not cover it. Either way is fine. And good morning. Yes, it's the next day. And do you see that change in color? All of that goodness has seeped right on in. And now it's time to strain out the pulp and the powder that was left behind. Come on, let's do it.
You know, I had such a wonderful time with you today. Please be sure to subscribe, join the Tree Filler Challenge, and see more details in the description box and also the end screen. And if you should want to alternate between the Tree Filler Moisturizing Mask and the Strengthening Mask like we're doing in the challenge, then make the Strengthening Mask like this. Follow the exact same steps and ingredients that you've seen today, but the following powder mix, use this instead. Two and a half teaspoons of fenugreek powder, one teaspoon of tree filler powder, and one teaspoon of aloe powder. And there you have it. Thank you so much for joining me today. See you next video. Bye-bye.